For our last example of finding the lateral area and the surface area of a cone, you'll notice that this time we do not have the slant height. The slant height would be this height right here along the side of the cone. What we have instead is we have the actual height of the cone, which is 12, and we have the diameter of the circular base here of 18. Well, we can actually use the Pythagorean theorem to find that slant height. First, when we look at that right triangle, notice that this piece right here is just the radius of the circle. It's half the diameter. So our radius, again, is the diameter divided by 2. So here, if we take 18 and we divide it by 2, we get 9. So 9 is our radius, but 9 is also the number that we need for the Pythagorean theorem. Recall the Pythagorean theorem is just a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the hypotenuse, and in this case, the hypotenuse is that slant height that we're trying to find. Now the other two sides are a and b. So I'm going to let the 12 be the a and the 9 be the b side. And if we plug those into our Pythagorean theorem, we would have 12 squared plus 9 squared equals L squared. And you can just type a regular L. I'm drawing a cursive one here in my um, slide, but just type the regular L in your I and B is fine. And now let's do the work here off to the side. 12 squared is 144. 9 squared is 81. And that's equal to L squared. We add up 144 plus 81. And that is 225. To get the L, we need to undo the squared, where we take a square root of each side. And that'll give us 15. So the slant height is 15. Now you don't need to type all of this work over here into your interactive notebook. You just need the formula right here for your Pythagorean theorem setup and your slant height equal 15. And now we can move on to step two, finding the lateral area. We already have the R, which is 9, and we just found the slant height to be 15. So now to calculate the lateral area, we use our formula, lateral area equals pi R L. So that's pi times 9 times 15, and 9 times 15 is 135. So we have 135 pi as our lateral area, and in your interactive notebook, the pi symbol's already there. You just need to type the 135 right there for step two. Now that we have our lateral area, we're ready to calculate the surface area. Remember, the formula for the surface area is SA equals LA plus pi r squared. That's the lateral area plus the area of the circular base. Well, if we take our answer here from step two, our lateral area was 135 pi, and then we need to add pi times r squared. r is, once again, 9. So we have 135 pi plus, and then 9 squared is 81, so 81 pi. And once again, since these both have pi's in them, they're like terms, so just add the numbers in front. 135 plus 81 is 216. So the surface area of the cone here would be 216 pi inches squared. And this concludes lesson 10.6, day one. You're now ready to go to Schoology and do your 10.6, day one homework assignment, which will be on finding the lateral area and surface area of cones. Thanks for watching. Bye.